Ladies and gentlemen, side. tonight, fighting out of the blue corner this evening, he stands 5 feet 10 inches tall. He weighs in at 156.2 pounds. Fighting out of Belleville, Illinois, Jordan Meister. His opponent tonight, fighting from across the cage out of the red corner this evening. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall. He weighs in at 155.6 pounds. Fighting out of Belleville, Illinois, Tim Eschenfelder. Referee John Duver has the call for this contest. Again, two very interesting concepts here. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner, American wrestler. Ryan, you being the American wrestler that you are, how hard is it to take on someone who is used to being on their back? You know, it's interesting. You've got to be comfortable in your hands. You get to dictate hard kick. You get to dictate where the fight goes, uh, theoretically, by having takedown defense and the option for takedowns. But that leaves a whole world of boxing and kickboxing to deal with. Nice knee there coming from Eschenfelder. Yeah, nice knee. Pressure looking for a double leg here coming from Meister, who switches over to the high crotch single. Meister gave up his neck. He takes down the wrestler. Jiu-Jitsu practitioners are getting better and better at that. You look at guys like Damian Maya, just realizing they can push whoever they need to against the cage, finish singles, finish doubles, in order to get it to the ground. That's kind of the blueprint for a lot of Jiu-Jitsu guys in fighting currently. Now, this is not a position that Eschenfelder wants to be in. Holding onto that head doesn't do much for him, and he gives up north-south position. What set up that whole flurry and why he was able to give up his hips, it's very easy to want to hunt the head, especially when someone lowers their level. But if you've got someone who's used to defending chokes, comfortable with that position, all you're going to do is end up wasting your energy with your arm and put yourself in positions susceptible to takedowns like what just happened here. Nice body shots there coming from Meister in this position, trying to step over, looking to take the back, swinging for an arm. Good hip motion by Meister, but he's a tad high. Eschenfelder's going to look to clear these legs, buck out. Oh, nice shots are coming from Meister, trying to free that arm, trying to soft up Eschenfelder just a little bit. That arm is centimeters away, centimeters away from being wrenched into an arm. Ball. Oh, Meister's got the arm free. Can he finish? Looking for a possible Kimura now. Eschenfelder's going to look to swim out the back here because Meister is a little high. He's going to swim out the back without exposing that arm. But that's... Again, he is holding on for dear life here to that arm. Meister switches position, trying to lock that in. He has the very, he's let go. Nice pull there coming. And he gets the tap out over Tim Eschenfelder. The jiu-jitsu practitioner takes down the wrestler. Gentlemen, the referee stops the contest. Two minutes and one second of round number one. Your winner by arm bar submission, Jordan Meister. Jordan Meister extends that winning streak coming to us by the hit squad in Granite City.